Doug, your technology editor from thegigaheim.com. Here with you today to do the unboxing of Apple's latest product. That's right, it's the iPad 2. I'd like to give a big tip of the cap to the folks at Best Buy in Brandon, Florida, who managed to put this little piece of electronic heaven in our hands after we had already struck out at the Apple store in Brandon, which was a mob scene, along with Walmart and Sam's Club in Brandon. We're going to be doing an unboxing for you. We're going to have some other video tests coming up in the next couple of days. Original iPad versus iPad 2 and a number of speed contest comparison things of that nature. But for now, let's get to the unboxing. We've actually got a total of three products to show you today, but right off the bat we're going to get to the real crowd pleaser and what everybody wants to see, the iPad 2. Typical Apple packaging here, nice clean look. Not that much showing you what's inside except one main image, kind of a side view of the iPad 2 on the front. So we'll go ahead and dispense with the cellophane. This cellophane, the finest cellophane that Apple could find in California. And here we go. Unbox. And the first thing you are confronted with immediately is the iPad 2 in all of its glory. Small plastic tab right here. Give that a pull and out pops the main event, the iPad 2. Now without even having one of the original iPads here to compare it to, I can say immediately that you definitely notice the difference in the thickness of the iPad. Don't know if I really notice a difference in the weight or not. That'll be something that'll have to wait until I can get my hands on one of the originals and uh, kind of compare them side by side. I know there is a weight difference and as they said in the keynote speech when you're down to about a pound and a half, even a couple of tenths of a pound will make a difference. Uh, I'll say this uh, already, and that is that with the uh, difference in thickness of the iPad, it does feel different in your hands uh, as far as holding it. Not that the original iPad ever felt bulky per se, uh, but this is just even more amazing. Um, in, in regards to what they've been able to squeeze in to a very, very small form factor. So as we go around the iPad 2, home button right there, right where we expected it to be, 30-pin dock connector port right there. We've got our speaker. We've got your standard Apple logo on the back, iPad. This particular iPad, as you notice, we have no black insert here. This is a Wi-Fi model, 16 gigabyte. Come up to the top, yep, it's the long-awaited camera. Now, there's already been lots of people saying all kinds of good and bad things about the Apple camera as far as resolution, what they gave us, what they didn't give us. Keep in mind, if you've listened to the Gigaheim podcast, which I encourage you to do, we have discussed ad nauseum about the fact that it seems like Apple is able to get a better image out of a 2-megapixel camera than a lot of other companies are able to get out of a 7 or an 8. Be that as it may, you may have complaints about this camera, you might not. We'll see what happens with that as uh, this thing finds the field and, and uh, people get a chance to really get a hands-on and use it. Volume controller, right on the side where we expected it to be. And the multi-purpose switch on the iPad 2. Now not only is it a mute, but there is an actual option in the software to configure that for a mute for your volume or <clears throat> excuse me, an orientation lock to keep the device from switching between landscape and portrait modes. Uh, other than that, we've got our headphone jack right up top. This looks to be some sort of a little uh, recess there, which is actually directly above the uh, user-facing camera on this side, VGA camera on this side, which everybody's looking forward to for things like FaceTime, Skype, uh, any other video chat programs that you might have. Um, iPad 2, of course, comes locked up in some uh, what appears to be cellophane or other type of clear plastic, but uh, it's an absolute beauty. It is a thing to behold. Let's go through the rest of the box as long as we're here and see what else Apple has packed in here for us in the way of treats. Uh, if you've bought an Apple product before, you've seen a little box like this designed by Apple in California. Flip this guy open. And we've got our 
to Apple stickers, which can be applied to just about anything. What's a real good treat with this is to find your buddy who's a big Windows fan and put that on their car. But really amuse them. We've got a uh, brief primer, as it were, on the iPad 2 as far as where everything is. Again, the uh, power on, power off, sleep, wake button, the uh, silent mute button or orientation lock, depending upon how you set it up, volume up and down, home button, forward facing camera, instructions on the back on how to set up, sync, and charge. Uh, if you didn't know this already, if this is your first time with iPad, you do have to hook it up to an iTunes account equipped computer before you can use it. Uh, pretty small thing actually, probably if you've got an iPad or an iPad 2 you've already got that covered. Uh, important product information guide here from Apple. Usually some warnings, don't do this, don't do that. Um, legal representation, whatnot, all kinds of little licensing, warranty obligations and whatnot. So that is the information pack. Uh, we move ahead, we've got our standard 30-pin connector cable, USB on one end, 30-pin on the other. Pretty standard stuff. If you've got an iPhone or an iPod, uh, you're familiar with that little cable there. Then we come to the power brick. And interesting thing uh, about these power bricks, and it's something that we all found out with the original iPad, uh, they won't necessarily charge off every USB port out there. They definitely won't charge off of an unpowered uh, USB bridge of any kind. Um, these are, if I remember correctly, 10 watt uh, power supplies, which means that they are iPad specific. Uh, but at any rate, we have one included in there, and you get at that point to the back of the box. So that is the contents, those are, excuse me for all you English majors out there, of the iPad to box. As I mentioned at uh, the beginning of this segment, we've got two other things that we want to show you. These being the, uh, a couple of the accessories that they actually had in stock today. The first one being the iPad smart cover. Now if you watch the keynote or if you've been to Apple's website within the last couple of weeks, you've seen this guy do a, a neat little video for about a minute. Something Steve Jobs referred to as reminding him of a Pixar short. I'm going to go ahead and pop this tab up just like so. And once we've done that, with a little bit of effort, we can pull that out like so. And out comes our brand new Apple case. Pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff, really. We know already that the case can do all kinds of things as far as uh, uh, being a stand for your iPad, being a cover that will uh, actually keep the screen clean. And I'm going to attempt to do this with the uh, cellophane still on the device, but we'll just see what happens here. We'll bring these two guys together. And <laughs> Only through the magic of television, folks. I'm sure it's the cellophane that's doing it. Let me see, we'll try that one more time. Yeah, I've got this upside down. Helps when the tech editor actually uh, you know, knows something about technology. We'll try and get somebody else in here soon. But the uh, case lays down with magnets. And it is true from what we've read, uh, the thing just kind of seemed to know where to go on the side of the iPad, which was kind of cool. Again, another one of the features of this particular cover uh, it has sensors built in so that when you open the cover, the first flap right there, it both wakes the iPad to, and when you close it, it will put it to sleep. Again, very easy to snap off, walk it back up, line it back up, drop it back on. Does not add a lot of bulk uh, to the iPad at all, does not seem cumbersome at all. This is the gray cover. You can also get, there's five colors in the polyurethane cover, which is, which is this guy right here, which I believe retail for $39. You're looking at gray, pink, uh, a green, I like a lime green, I think there's an aqua, I forget what else is in there. The five colors of the leather cases, you've got a red, a black, a gray. Uh, again, you probably want to check that over on apple.com because the couple of colors are uh, running away from my mind at the moment. So that's the iPad 2 and the cover. And finally the third product that I said we would uh, show you 
the digital AV adapter. Now this is a new product specifically brought out at this rollout. It is not iPad 2 specific, just so you know. This will also work on your iPhone, it'll work on original iPads. Now what it'll do across the family of devices is a little bit different. For the iPad 2, what this guy is going to do is plug right into your 30 uh, uh, pin port connector. It's also going to allow you to charge throughput while you have this plugged in. And then over on this side we have an HDMI port, which is going to go to any HDMI equipped monitor or television. With the iPad 2, you're going to be able to do actual screen mirroring. Anything that you're doing on the iPad is going to show up on the television set in up to 1080p, depending upon uh, you know if the app is specifically an iPad app. Um, you know, I'm going to use this to. So I don't have an Apple TV. Uh, I'm going to use this to stream Netflix and, and a number of other things. Uh, if you use this on the original iPhone or if you use it on the original iPad, uh, you are going to be able to run movies out of iTunes and maybe a couple of other applications, but it will not have the screen mirroring feature, at least not now. The other thing to keep in mind is it will only be 720p as far as resolution is concerned. The uh, iPad 2, of course, will accept all the previous adapters, VGA component. Those can all be purchased through Apple or another number of other companies like Scotia, Belkin, those kind of folks who've uh, got these adapters out there. But there it is. That's the package. Uh, and if you were in line today, these were pretty much your options, a case cover. Uh, I, we did not see any of the folio type cases or anything that would provide full coverage for the back of the iPad. Beautiful uh, milled aluminum piece on the back, but uh, it can be a little scratch prone uh, if, you've, if you're familiar with uh, Apple products to begin with. So there we have it. The iPad 2, the new cover for the iPad 2 from Apple, and the HDMI adapter. Well there you have it everybody. The brand new iPad 2, the iPad 2 front cover from Apple, and the HDMI adapter. Now as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, keep your eyes peeled because in the next couple of days we're going to pit the iPad 2 up against an original iPad and perform a number of speed tests. We'll get those results to you just as soon as we can get to it. In the meantime, remember that you can catch up on everything technology related over at thegigaheim.com, the museum of modern fandom. Comic books, video games, technology, we've even got dating advice for geeks. Come on over to thegigaheim.com and remember our podcast every week. You'll want to find that over on iTunes or you can even stream it from the site. We also now have an iPhone app that you can download and stream the podcast along with all of our articles that come up on the site straight to your iPhone on the go wherever you are. Hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, I am Doug from thegigaheim.com, your technology editor. Thanks so much for watching.